Erufai is trying to bring back old notes into the system because he has it somewhere. Udinta, Udinta. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. In a video interview on the Rice Television yesterday, the founding National Secretary of Alliance for Democracy, Prof. Udinta Udinta, has commented on the narrow swap policy of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, as he also insisted that the all progressive Congress governors who were against the policy to rather push for the availability of new notes against the recirculation of old notes. While he was talking, he claimed that the All Progressives Congress, APC, is a political party that has been divided against itself. And he said the people who set up the policy are the All Progressive Congress members, but Arafai, who is a member of the party, was trying to jeopardize the policy dazed by the fact that it's a good policy that is meant for the betterment of a country at large. The professor also claimed that Erufai has his own personal motive for dragging the federal government to the Supreme over the reversal of a narrow swap policy, as he claimed Erufai has the old note somewhere and intends to use it for his own good. He said Erufai is trying to bring back old notes into the system because he had it somewhere. He should not be fighting for the usage of a new note again. What he should be fighting for should be how the new notes will circulate in the country. And that should be it. I, I even came out and I said that, look, this whole issue of new notes and whatever, hmm? this particular one, I don't have an issue with them redesigning the Naira. But where I have an issue is they don't make it available. They don't make it available to, yes, they don't make it available to, uh, what's it called? They don't make it available to us. You ask people to come out and keep um, the old notes, and then, you know, you don't, you don't release the new note for them. Like, oh God, how now? How are they supposed to? How are they supposed to have a legal means of exchange? Hmm? How are they supposed to continue their businesses? Even these few days, do you know how many businesses have suffered? Do you know how many businesses have collapsed because of this issue? The cost case against CBN is, thieves, is a thief move to protect loose by the thieves. <laughs> okay, but what about the suffering of the masses? Is the situation right now okay for anyone? Why P2B people want people to suffer? Ah, bah. How is P2B people wanting people to suffer? Is it P2B that introduced it? Is it not APC? Tell us why they are fighting themselves because of the policy they introduced. Let us have you. Whatever he wants to do does not stop you from knowing that Nigerians are suffering. By the way, the narrow design is going on. Is it fair to pull out the old notes from people without placement? After the deadline of January 31st, 2023, banks were not issuing new notes to customers. Was that because of error if I wanted to deposit its old notes? CBN has failed Nigerians. That is where we are right now. Hmm. Okay, well. Don't mind people thinking that the CBN policy is going to affect some selective people. Not knowing how the bad policy have affected the but poor masses they claim to be fighting for, it will soon dawn on them that it damage that the policy has cost. We can see those that are supporting evil. Okay. CBN is, is still APC. CBN is still APC, the, the president of a country and the governor. Of CBN are both card carrying members of APC, which is not even supposed to be. So tell me who is fooling who? APC trying to fool Nigerians. They threw stones into the market and turned around to ask who is throwing to ask who is throwing stones. And the thing is, now you know, so MFA is not even supposed to do anything like that. All right. In every betterment of any society, you must pay bribes. Let us learn to sacrifice, okay? I'm surprised in all that we have been suffering under this government. This is the only time Erufai has made a move claiming he's fighting. That is the most surprising thing, my dear. Now, that there is the most surprising thing. It surprised me. For scarcity on happen, for scarcity on happen, then the price can increase. You don't hear anything. All of a sudden, Naira scarcity come. You realize some people, they won't drink poison. Some people won't kick pockets. Ha! 
I'm surprised and all that we have suffered under this government. This is the only time Rafai has made a move claiming he is fighting for the masses. I told my friend that there is no evil agenda why they didn't Rafai include the circulation of new notes to their suit against the federal government. But I said to just to reverse the old notes. Tenebo and his gang never tell Nigerians why they insisted on fighting government over old money instead of fighting for circulation of new money. Bullion van note is hidden somewhere. The thinking of us man is not accepted at this time. They the stupid they may feel made any plans for the less privileged. Any stupid good idea that they tend to kill the peace or its people. Or its populace is useless. It is because we have a sleeping period president who had this sack. All right. We don't know how gullible and uneducated some Nigerians are. How can he say what he's not sure of? A governor that is on ground with the masses understands what the masses suffer more than the governor of CBN who has the constituents. Really? Can somebody qualify or quantify the economic impact of this poorly, of this poorly implemented policy? Is to didn't aware of the difficulty experienced Sincerely, Udenta knows how gullible and uneducated some Nigerians are. How can he say what is not show off? A governor that is on ground with the masses understand what the masses suffer more than the governor of CBN, who has the constituents. Can someone quantify the economic impact of this poorly implemented policy? Is Udenta aware of the difficult cost the masses and the damage to perishable goods up north due to the cessation of trade? Is Udenta telling us that the government he would be involved it would prefer to destroy Perceived enemies not all right is it in the difficulty caused by the masses and the damage to perishable goods up not let us say the truth Amy Phil has inflicted unnecessary sufferings their money and cash for drugs what percentage of 200 million Nigerians have bank account think well no matter how you stop this thing every five never ever come out I never seen her before he glory that he came out and he no no no. All right. All right. Well, at the end of the day, hmm, at the end of the day, he came out and he's actually fighting for the masses. I mean, what happened to the force force scarcity? For goodness sake, the force scarcity started prior for like permit me to say since late last year. Let us say it started with no hear from any of those politicians. Because, of course, it did not affect them directly. Then all of a sudden, you're coming us to tell us that he is speaking up for the masses. They play. Just they play. Okay, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.